friends welcome to this lecture in this lecture we will be discussing some result related to linearly dependent and independent set let's start with the first one and the most important okay that is in this in this result we will prove that subset of linearly independent set is linearly independent that means if i give you some linearly independent set and give you any random subset of it that without proving you can write it as a linearly independent set okay so let us just prove it for once suppose i have a set s containing k elements v1 bar to vk bar and that set is linearly independent set so first we revise the definition of what is linearly independent a set which is not linearly dependent that means there does not exist any non trivial way to reach zero bar that means only way to make zero bar is by considering all of the coefficient to be equal to zero right getting some idea if you are still getting confused in it go and watch the video about linearly dependent set or there you will get confused. so now i know that my s which is containing k element is linearly independent set and i assume a which is containing n elements v1 bar vn bar be any random subset of it we are assuming without loss of generality means if you consider any one it is fine so here i have chosen first n elements and we have consider k to be greater than n okay so i am considering first n element and i am telling it is randomly any subset of it because we are using without loss of generality okay in other cases also it will go the same way so i have s is linearly independent set my a is any subset of it my claim is what my claim is a is also linearly independent to prove this we'll go by a contradiction suppose my this set a is linearly dependent linearly dependent means what i can reach zero by in some non trivial way that means what there exists some real numbers alpha 1 till alpha n so that not all of them are zero but while making a linear combination my answer is coming out to be zero right so we have alpha 1 v1 bar plus dot 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 alpha n v n bar to be equal to zero bar what we do is we extend this to alpha k v k bar where whatever we are extending we are considering them to be zero that means after alpha n v n bar i am considering zero times alpha n plus 1 bar plus dot 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 zero times alpha k bar correct okay? so we can extend it still the equality holds but by using this by writing this what we have done is we have made the linear combinations of v1 bar till vk bar such that there exists at least one alpha i right at least one alpha i between alpha 1 to alpha k which is not equal to 0 that means we have found a non trivial way to reach zero bar isn't it so right just think about it. from alpha 1 to alpha k there exists at least one and actually it is from alpha 1 to alpha n there exists at least one we know from alpha n plus 1 to alpha k all of them are zero but from alpha 1 to alpha k there exists at least one of them which is not equal to zero means this linear representation is non trivial correct so i can conclude my alpha 1 to alpha uh, sorry v1 bar till vk bar v1 bar till vk bar that set that means a set s is linearly dependent which is contradiction to the given assumption that s is linearly independent hence whatever we assume is wrong right that means the given subset a is linearly independent this thing is really trivial and the proof is also trivial if you have any doubt in it write in the comment box okay now let's see the second is it is also interesting the second result tells us a set which contains zero bar is always linearly dependent set let me suppose i give you any set which is containing zero bar inside and i want to prove that set must be linearly dependent linearly dependent means what i should be able to find out a non trivial way to reach zero bar what i have done over here is i have consider zero times v1 bar dot 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 wherever the zero bar comes i will write one as a coefficient of it and the rest will be having coefficient as zero and that linear combination will give me zero bar obviously 
but we are making the linear combination at all the places i am not using zero means this representation or this linear combination is non -li non trivial linear combination right since there exists at least one coefficient which is not equal to zero and that coefficient is itself of zero bar only so in this way you see that there always exists a non trivial way to reach zero this result is really trivial but result is also trivial right simple so we can conclude that zero bar if any set has then that set must be linearly dependent set okay let's see the third result if a set contains a linearly dependent subset then that set itself is linearly dependent that means suppose i have a bigger set inside which there exists a smaller linearly dependent set then that entire bigger set becomes linearly dependent set. okay the proof of this can be done in a similar pattern as the first result that is so i keep this as an exercise i think you guys should try about it. you can do in the similar pattern not exactly the same but the similar pattern okay thank you so much for watching this video if you like please comment about your feedback and share it with your friend and subscribe to my channel thank you